and oh, Carly, just talking about apple pie and thinking about <laughs> apple pie. Yeah. Can't you just smell it in the air? We're gonna have to take a trip there when this is all said and done. And actually, I was thinking <sighs> that you have to keep your kitchen so clean every night. <laughs> I know. Well, I, fun fact about me, I clean it every night thoroughly. I'm a little OCD and a neat freak. So, <laughs> yeah, no, Marcella, I definitely do because I basically have turned my dining room into my weather set. So as we go into tonight, let's go ahead and talk about conditions that are out there because we have some clouds rolling in, also some shower activity that's picking up. So taking a live look for downtown, you have the city lights and you also have mostly cloudy skies, 60 degrees current temperature. We also have winds out of the west at nine miles per hour. Thanks, Marcella. Now I'm thinking about apple pie. All right, so we are having those showers start to move in, and we're looking at more activity into Thursday. Isolated thunderstorms cannot be ruled out right along the coast for Thursday afternoon as that low sits directly over us. Now, we are also looking at a cold system that's going to move through, so that's why we're looking at mountain snow on the way, an advisory in play for the mountains, especially for those slippery roads, and also reduce visibility from blowing snow by tomorrow. Also keep in mind, high pressure is going to build in. We got some sunshine, a lot of it, by next week. Taking a look at the satellite radar, we have cloud cover, we have showers, and we're also seeing some heavier pockets of rainfall that are now moving in. One cell in particular that has picked up a little bit more momentum moving in towards Encinitas, and that will be the case as we go into tonight. So hanging around at least for another 30 minutes before it lifts towards the northeast. We're also seeing scattered shower activity for Escondido as well as Mira Mesa and for Chula Vista. Taking a look at our in-house model, we're looking at more scattered showers, a little bit light to moderate by midnight, so picking up more momentum, becoming more widespread west of the mountains. And then by tomorrow morning, we're seeing light shower activity. That's when we start to get the hit or miss action. So 9 a.m., seeing that for portions of East County, and then it picks up more momentum throughout the day. And as I mentioned, by the afternoon and evening hours, we are looking at a chance for isolated thunderstorms right along the coast and also some mountain snow during that time frame. You're going to continue to see that mountain snow until about 9.30 tomorrow night and then early morning hours, 7.30 on Friday morning, still dealing with wet weather before everything clears out by the afternoon. So that winter weather advisory, especially for tomorrow afternoon, we're talking about strong gusts up to 50 miles per hour. That's when the snow is expected and we could see potentially up to five inches of snowfall. That will be in Mount Laguna as well. Taking a look at that low, it's going to move over us, and then it starts to move out. But there's another one right behind it. And so models were kind of going back and forth on whether or not we would see a chance for showers with that. I don't think we're going to be completely clear from that one. So I'm going with a slight chance for showers on Sunday and then much drier conditions that will take us into Monday. Also much warmer ones as well. We're talking 80s, close to 90s in the desert by next week. Back to you. Oh, it's chilly outside, and uh, I have a secret. Everyone says, oh, it's so cool you've got the monitor behind you, but that's because I only need to keep this five-foot linear area clean. <laughs> so good for you, Carlene. All right.